Well, tonight, Paul Flores and his father, Ruben Flores, are waiting for their next court date, June 21st. Paul is behind bars, charged with murdering Kristen Smart. Ruben is accused of helping him hide Smart's remains. He was released from jail, but is not allowed to leave San Luis Obispo County. And tonight, for the first time since those arrests, we're hearing from Kristen's family. CBS 13's Heather Jansen with her brother Matt on how they're keeping her memory alive through others. A case that's captivated the country. She had a smile, she had an energy and a charisma like no other. Kristen Smart's younger brother Matt still holds her memory close. Kristen was, was bound for, for, you know, a destiny of big things and was really bound for, for good. But unfortunately, she was never given that opportunity. A lifetime of opportunity taken too soon from the 19-year-old Stockton native. After her death and disappearance at Cal Poly, now 25 years later. You're talking 25 missed anniversaries, you're 25 missed birthdays, you're talking about 9,000 days at sea. The Smart family finally feeling a semblance of closure. It's the phone call you wanted for so long, but hadn't necessarily prepared for receiving. Is it a moment of kind of joy? Yes, but it's also a new phase. This new phase, beginning with the arrest of Paul Flores for murder in April, the last person she was seen with before going missing. His father also arrested for accessory. We're full of hope or full of optimism for justice. Continuing to heal, doing so by helping other young women achieve their dreams in Kristen's honor. Is the coolest feeling through the gift of scholarship. The Kristen Smart Scholarship, empowering college-bound women, hoping to follow in Kristen's footsteps. Live life in the way that Kristen did, in a big, bold, colorful way. The latest recipients, these four young women, two of them from Stockton. You can't help but be moved by these individuals. The Smart family, finding light in the dark and keeping Kristen's legacy alive.